Welcome to the fifth video in our series, TJ Admissions Test Frequently Missed Questions, presented by TJ Test Prep. We offer TJ Round 1 proctored exams online, and in this series, we will go over the types of problems that we have seen students miss on the exam. In this series, we hope students gain an understanding of how to approach different types of math problems seen on the TJ exam. Even if you get the problem right, watch this video as you can learn helpful problem-solving strategies that you can apply to other problems. If you want to learn more about our pra practice proctored exams or register for them, please go to tjtestprep.com. Now onto the problem. Here we are asked, what is the absolute difference in the number of ways you can pick three people from a group of 10 and the number of ways you can pick a president, vice president, and treasurer from a group of 10? Solve this without answer choices. First answer this question by yourself and then come back later for the answer and solution. So the answer is 600. Let's see how we came up with this answer. Now before we tackle this question, we must first understand the difference between combinations and permutations. The first half of this problem is asking us to pick three people from a group of 10, meaning this will be a combination, where order does not matter. For instance, picking person A, B, and C is the same as picking a group containing the same people C, B, and A in just a different order. Versus the second half of this question, where we're picking three positions from a group of 10 people, which is known as a permutation. Here, order does matter. For instance, if we pick person A as president, person B as treasurer, and person C as vice president, it is not the same as person C being the president, person A being treasurer, and person B being the vice, being the vice president. Now using the formulas for combinations and permutations, we can get solved the following problem. For the first half for the combination, we get 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, which gives us an answer of 120. For the permutation, or the second half of the problem, we get 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial, which leaves us with an answer of 720. Now remember, the problem asks for the absolute difference between these two, which leaves us with 720 minus 120, and that gives us our final answer of 600. For more information about our TJ test prep services, including proctored TJ practice exams for round one and an SIS essay prep course for round two, visit us at tjtestprep.com. If you are interested in our services or like our videos, please contact us at prepfortj at gmail.com. We will be happy to answer any questions you have. We also have a blog series online where we write about helpful TJ admissions tips. Visit us at tjtestprep.com slash blog to read our posts. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe. To keep up to date with our YouTube channel, we frequently post, so subscribe with post notifications turned on by hitting the bell icon to be notified when we upload. Thank you for watching our video.